In this video, we have a transient model and we'll add transient recharge, transient river stage, and transient observation wells. We have a CSV file that shows how transient recharge data are formatted. In the left column, we see the name of the polygon that we'll be applying the recharge to, the date of the time step, and then the value of the recharge and have recharge selected and open the file. All files, we would like transient recharge CSV. Make sure that the heading row box is clicked. This is a comma delimited file, so make sure delimited and comma are checked. And we'll click next. Here we want transient polygon data. Arch is a polygon. Here we want to make sure name is selected, the date, and then here we have the recharge rate. We'll click Finish, updating them. Continuous interpolates. We want time step. Let's make sure our transient recharge is entered correctly. We'll right click on Recharge, go to the Attribute table, go to our Polygons, and here we see that these have changed to transient. Let's click on these. Note that the timeline continues to 2044 because we will eventually be using the model for predictive modeling. Now we need to map these to ModFlow. Right click, map to ModFlow. Good. Next, we'll add a transient river stage. Click on the river this time, right click, and go to the attribute table. We want our nodes, and here we see the stage and the elevation. But in this case, there's few, so we'll just cut and paste. We have an upper node at 159.9, a middle node at 159.0, and a lower node at 158.6. These are the land surface elevations of the river stage. Here we can click on the three dots, and this is for the lower node. Let's use dates and times and we'll go to our CSV file, choose date and lower, copy, and paste. Okay, now let's go to the middle node. We choose dates and time, copy and paste, and for the lower node, and we'll copy. For the upper node, choose dates and times, and copy and paste. Okay. Okay. And map these to ModFlow. For the transient observation wells, we'll need to bring in a shape file of them and their locations. We've got the shape file that we add to the GIS layers and now we make a map coverage for it. So click on your model, 
make a new coverage. I'm going to name this transient observation wells. Let's click transient head. This goes into layer two. And we want to use well screens here. Okay. Now, let's make sure we uncheck the ones we're not using. Let's right click on the observation wells and convert these to feature objects. Transient obs wells to transient obs wells. Next, we see the name. We see the top screen, the bottom screen. And we won't worry about the rest of these for now. Next and finish. We have our groundwater observations in a file that looks similar to what we had for recharge. We have a name, a date, and a value that's in meters above sea level. So let's import this. And we click on the transient observation wells. We open the transient obs head.csv. This is a comma delimited. We have a heading row. And this is and this is transient observation data. We have the name, the dates, and this is the observed head. We'll finish. And let's make sure that these imported correctly. This type is obs point, and we see the observed values here. Okay, and let's map these to workflow.